We're live here at Mobile World Congress 2022, and it's been a transformational year for Nokia, and the Mobile Networks Division is no exception. Tommy is here to tell us more about that. Welcome. Thank you, Michael. So how have you managed to not only close that gap, but then widen your lead against the guys behind you? Yeah, over the last uh, two, two and a half years, we have uh, run the, completely the turnaround program of mobile networks, and we changed just about everything from product development processes, uh, chips, uh, product platforms, leadership, culture, everything was changed. At the show, you've managed to make a real big splash with the 5G edge slicing announcement. Yeah, and it's it's really exciting technology. You know, slicing is good for segregating a logical part of the network for particular performance commitments or SLA service level agreements, and that's particularly important for operators when they they need to do a better job in uh, serving their corporate customers, enterprise customers who want to make use of uh, wireless networks. That enterprise side is really the critical component. 4G may have been very consumer oriented, but 5G is very much about enterprise and industry 4.0. That's correct, and the beauty is that uh, in 5G, uh, industrial IoT, Internet of Things, was designed into the system architecture from the very outset, uh, whereas in 4G it was like a uh, poor man's add-on. So now we have all the IoT capabilities designed into the system architecture. And the slicing aspect of that ensures that not only do you meet those SLAs that enterprise needs, but they feel like they've got their own little part of the wireless world. Yeah, it's almost like building your own network, but you don't have to. So you just segregate this logical slice, and, and then you can com combine the slice of the operator's uh, commercial network with a local uh, campus network, a private wireless network. So it's like a hybrid network. And as we've seen through other arenas here at the Nokia stand, that there are opportunities to use 5G slicing for a whole host of opportunities, not just Industry 4.0, but I think my next autonomous vehicle is going to be using a 5G slicing technology in one way, shape, or form. Yeah, well, I mean, that would certainly be a critical use case where we would want to be absolutely sure about the latency and the throughput and the robustness of uh, of the connection, that's for sure. And it's also usable in the consumer space, like uh, fixed wireless access uh, it would be very suitable for using a slice. We're concerned very much, and as we are here in this particular arena, about going green. And as Pekka himself pointed out, there is no green without digital. What's the answer here? Well, that's certainly correct. And uh, from mobile networks perspective, uh, with the base stations, uh, we have a big responsibility to reduce the energy consumption of not just the base station components, but actually the whole base station site. One of the things we launched here is the liquid-cooled base station. Uh, and point being that uh, oftentimes 30% uh, of the total uh, site level power consumption is with the air conditioned cooling of these electronics. Well, if we can get rid of that with liquid, uh, liquid, liquid cooled uh, units or at least get 90, rid of 90% of that, that means 27% saving at the site level. That's critical not only for enterprise from a cost perspective, but also for ESG. Absolutely. I mean, many of us have. Uh, and rightfully so, have important ESG targets uh, for our corporations and at an individual level. So uh, energy efficiency or improving it uh, uh, with all the different scope emissions, it's, it's super important. Tommy, thank you so much for your time and insight. Thank you, Michael. We are live at Mobile World Congress 2022 in Barcelona. Day four continues. I'm Michael Hainsworth.